also have something it. called Singapore math. Is that the new math? And I'm like, yeah. what? I want to know though, have you, have, are you good at homework or does it freak you out? Because sometimes I feel yeah. like they start like with new math, like with kids. We have something called Singapore math. Is that the new math? And I'm like, yeah. what? Yeah, well, that's the new math in our house that I don't, oh. I don't understand. So yeah. I, I don't even try. I don't either. Yeah. I'm like, you yeah. should really phone a friend. All over the world, children learn traditional maths, which is calculating, measuring, looking at pie charts, bar graphs, recognizing shapes. So it's very direct. Now, Singapore maths is different because it challenges your mind to think harder and in greater depth. problem that's considered challenging in primary school. Uh, say I got characters like spiky and curly. Okay. So perhaps spiky mm -hmm. has three times as much money as curly. Say we do know that uh, spiky gives curly two dollars. Okay. And as a result, they both have the same amount of money. All right. Can you imagine how spiky's amount of money can be given to Curly such that they both have the same amount of money. The Programme for International Student Assessment, or PISA, has been dubbed the World Cup for Education. It tests critical thinking in math, science and reading in 15-year-olds in some 70 countries. The latest PISA saw Singapore rank number one in all subjects, with Singapore beating Hong Kong and Macau in mathematics. We're starting to see a really interesting pedagogical method. It's about visualization as opposed to memorization, and about kids actually engaging in creating blocks to see what's more and what's less. You also see as part of this a real um, focus on language immersion um, so that kids are understanding what more than means, what fewer than means, things like that. I don't either. Yeah. I'm like, you yeah. should really phone a friend yeah, well, for I, that I, one. <laughs> like, you should call and someone. Like, well, you want